Hello there. Yes, hello there and welcome to today's lore video featuring the Fumbar. Now, Fumbars were large herbivorous amphibians that were quite commonly found in the swamps of Naboo, but could also be found in the jungles of Onderon, which actually led to some experts believing that Naboo merchants brought the Fumbars to Onderon, but there wasn't really any fossil evidence to support that theory. Now, being the largest terrestrial herbivores of the swamp, Fumbars stood between 4 and 9 meters tall and were technically amphibians, but they also had the scaly height of reptiles. And because of their size, they could easily obtain food by simply knocking over trees to get at the leaves and berries. And because of their amphibious nature, they also forage for underwater plants, being able to breathe underwater and swim with ease. Now, when in the wild, Fumbars preferred to travel in herds of only 12 members, but would also form breeding herds of hundreds of family units that were so large that they were traditionally put to pasture in large, sacred, swampy areas. For the domesticated breeds kept by the Gungans, there were special Fumba stables built that were contained inside the underwater hydrostatic bubble-enclosed cities. The females laid large numbers of sticky, gelatinous eggs, which they deposited in puddles and underwater. The young then hatched, with moist skin and gills, but upon maturity, the gills disappeared and their skin hardened. Aqua monsters coming up from the abyssal ocean beneath were their only known predators. Now, by the time of the Phantom Menace, the Fumbar had been domesticated by the Gungans for a millennia as beasts of burden and cavalry or artillery draft beasts. And during wartime, they were used to carry portable deflector shield generators to protect their Gungan masters, and they were also mounted with large boomer cannons. During the Trade Federation occupation of Naboo in 32 BBY, the Fumbars were placed in Camp 6 by the Droid Army and then were later rescued by the Gungan army and outfitted for use in the Gungans' diversionary battle. And it was during this battle that the Fumbar mounted shield generators that were protecting the Grand Army were destroyed after being fired upon by battle droids. Even the Fumbars on Onderon were used to hold heavy artillery by the Onderon rebels during their Clone Wars insurgency. And also, in the Outer Rim territories on a remote desert planet called Abafar, Fumbar meat was imported and used in a dish known as Fumbar Delight. And this is the same planet, by the way, where in the Clone Wars TV show, Colonel Gascon and his astromech squad, which included R2-D2, crashed, and they came across that clone commando who had amnesia at the time. A fun fact about the designing of the Fumbar, in the original concept sketches, they were designed as two-legged dinosaur-like creatures, lacking arms like their smaller Kadu cousins. But then they pretty much just decided to scrap that and go with the four-legged design that we all now know and love. And that is the Fumbar in a nutshell. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you all in the next one. And until then, may the Force be with you.